In the last video we saw how to install the Unity. Now in this video we will see how the Unity editor works. So in the middle we have the scene view. Use mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Use middle mouse button to look around. And if you hold alt and left click we can pivot around the center of our view. In the default format we can see the hierarchy at the left, where you can see all the object which are present inside the scene. You see the scene has two objects right now, one is the main camera and the other is the directional light. If we click on any of the object the inspector window will display at the right hand side, where you can change the properties of the object. Changing the component value will differ an object from others. We also have a project panel down here, which shows all the game assets which can be dragged directly into the scene or the hierarchy. You can totally rearrange the tabs in Unity. But remember you can always go to top right corner, to reopen Unity to default layout. Any new panel which is not open you wanna open, can be imported from window tab. We want to create a gown for our player to stand on. To do that we will go over to the hierarchy and click right click, or hit create and select 3D object, then cube. This spawns a new cube to our scene. Now to make this cube a ground, we select the cube and go over to the transform in the inspector window, and hit right click and select reset, that just centers it. Move the game tab to the right to see both scene view and game view at the same time. We have to change the scale of the cube. I am gonna scale the cube 15 on X, keep 1 at Y and 90 on Z. And also change the Y position to minus 2. Now adjust the ground by grabbing the arrow and move, so it start about at the same point as our camera. Change the name of the cube to ground in the inspector. Then create another object by right click on the hierarchy, select 3D object and select sphere this time. Grab the ball and adjust it to the ground. Rename the sphere to player. Create a folder inside the project panel and rename it to materials. Go inside that folder, and hit right click, hover over to create, and select material. Change the name of the material of your choice. I choose player mat as a name. Now under inspector, go to color panel, and choose the color of the player of your choice. Drag and drop the material to your player in the scene. Select the player in the hierarchy. And. Go to add material inside the inspector window, and add a rigid body component to your player. Hit play and you will see the physics works fine with the ball. Now you have a scene ready for action. In the next video, we will add a movement script to our player. Thanks for watching.